Good morning and happy hump day. Here we are on day 15 of 30 and 30. I'm Kelly. I'm Caitlin. We are cooking with Caitlin. Today is punch one of a one, two, another one, two punch. We're gonna make spinach artichoke grilled cheese sandwiches. Tomorrow there's something to dip it in. Anyway, first, the sandwich. Yes. Okay, I love grilled cheese. What is there not to love about grilled cheese? Everybody and, does. Yes. Yeah. And how do you make grilled cheese better? Put more things in it. And then <laughs> put that. It got loud, sorry. <laughs> um, so then you get into the whole argument of is it grilled cheese only cheese bread and toasted? Okay. Or is it a melt when you add more things to it? Whoa. I know. Mind blown. Um, okay. So I have decided, you know the classic spinach and artichoke dip? Of course. We're gonna take it, we're gonna make it fresh, number one. Number two, we're going to put it in the middle of a hearty grilled cheese. And it's then- It's so good, good. I've had it lots of times. Yeah. Yum, you can see the picture there. It's to die for delicious. Ooh. Yes. You all okay. right? Yes, okay. okay. For this one, you start off with olive oil, red pepper flakes, and garlic. And you toast it all together, just saute it. Started in a cold pan. Yep, so all the flavors can infuse. Okay, into the oil. And then just cook until the garlic is like translucent and everything is pungent. And then you just add your spinach. I think this is how my recipe varies. Usually it's like a frozen, right? I think. Or you just buy the whole dip frozen. Yeah, oh. this is the real deal, right? Sure. Yeah. Here, or you here. get it at a restaurant. Yep. Open that. So we have just plain marinated artichoke hearts. <laughs> We're gonna see Kelly's strong arms. Oh my lord. <laughs> but to it, we are going to add sour cream, cream cheese, mozzarella, parmesan, and salt and pepper. Then we're going to sandwich it with fresh tomato on multi-grain bread in a greased pan, like a cast iron skillet. Yum. Okay. That's embarrassing. I got it. Good job. This is shade under a decade, all right. If you are not even interested in the sandwich part of it all, you can easily put this in like an oven safe dish and cover it with pink of breadcrumbs and parmesan. And just enjoy it as dip, spinach yeah. artichoke dip. Yeah. Some crostinis on the side. Yep. Yep. Great. Very good. Okay. Oh, you're Ooh, putting this okay. into the. There's your spinach. Spinach into the cheese mixture. It doesn't always crackle like that, does it? Why was that crackling so much? Because my oil is so high. Oh, okay. Yeah. Okay, so yeah. you're putting it into the cream cheese mixture. Yes, with some sour cream. For tang and creaminess and all that good stuff. Yum. Okay. Drain our show parts. Our dad used to just town these. Remember that? Your I dad? Mean, your dad too. Our dad. What about me? Oh. When Dad was going to make an antipasto for entertaining, I would always get in trouble because I had ransacked the artichokes and the fresh mozzarella. Oh, I would ransack the prosciutto. And so then, <laughs> then <laughs> we'd have to cancel the party. Just crackers. <laughs> exactly. You okay? Red pepper this flakes? This is such a nightmare that we're filming ourselves and I'm having a cough attack. Oh. Keep going, keep going. Okay. So you just stir it. Until everything is melted in together. <laughs> Are you really going to I'll, I'll be right back. Okay. That would be considered a party foul. <coughs> okay. I feel like a new woman. <laughs> Salt and pepper. Keep it simple. Grind that baby. Okay. I mean. Aggressive. Just a wreck. Okay. And there you go. So layer it into, get some thick, um, like multi-grain bread. Multi, yeah, like, like did something you with say tooth, that? toothiness. Yeah, yes. make yes. it sturdy because of all the creaminess inside. And then slice some fresh tomatoes if you can get them. If not, don't. Um, Speaking of tomatoes. I did say that, but also so, this would be delicious just if you had a pound of pasta, toss this in and treat it like a sauce. Or when the pasta's hot, it will melt even more. Go ahead. Yeah. What else? I'm trying to think. Like on a big potato, anything like where you need the creamy, saucy factor. Yeah. Pizza. Oh yeah. All done for you. Boom. Hey yo. Yes. Okay. There you go. 
Stay tuned tomorrow. We've got the second punch of this one, two punch. It's going to be good. <laughs> something for dipping, something for dipping. Hey, thank you for tuning in. This is Cooking with Caitlin. Have a great day. Bye.